Dang, check out this thing. What do they call those dudes? The little, what do they call them, Ev? I don't know. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Semria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Blog, guys. One of the things that I've been wanting to do, especially in 2024, was do more hobby shop tours. So today, guys, we are touring the hobby town in Louisville, Texas. This is only about 30 minutes from me. Actually, a little bit more than that, more like 45 minutes away from me. But I've actually never seen this one. It's crazy. Never been to this one before. I usually go to the one in downtown Dallas, which is amazing. And recently, someone told me that this one's even bigger and better, that they just redid it. So yeah, we're gonna do a little tour of this place. By the way, that's called a Wacky Waving Tube Guy. I'm trying to figure out what that was called, but nonetheless, Let's do some shopping. All right, before we head in, I'm gonna show you guys really quick how, just kind of how wide and long this place is. It's in this little mini mall, but look, it kind of starts here and then ends all the way over there. They got some nice stuff on the windows and there's actually something I am looking for here. I have yet to see the Arma Grom and you can only get that in store. I hope we find one, guys. I think we will. Cross our fingers, let's do it. Holy smokes. All right, I already see, look at that. That entire wall back there. All kits, holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. And then this entire side, so the cool thing about Hobby Towns is they don't just have RC car stuff. They have like puzzles and collectibles and things like that. We're gonna quickly go through this because uh, you know we wanna go over there really quick. Uh, but let's just kinda quick, take a quick look around. Look, we got kites and stuff over here. Uh, different games and balls. Oh man, remember this thing? The old Spirograph, I had one of those when I was growing up. Look at those. If I had more room to collect stuff, I collect so many things, guys. I would totally do diecast model collections. Oh, check this out. Slot car racing. Look at the Mario Kart one. I used to love these when I was younger. We're kind of going through the side really, really quick, but they have model cars also over here. These have always been really cool. I, every time I go through these things, I always see one that's like, Man, I want that one. Then I think about all the painting and things you have to do. And I'm like, maybe I should just get the, the snap together ones. And then the snap together ones aren't cool enough for me. So, yeah, that's pretty much my history on model cars. But, man, they got a whole bunch of them here. Model planes. Let's see what's back here. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Lots of music back here, guys. We're going to have to we're gonna have to truck through this section really quick. I don't even know what these things are. But here you go. You guys can see them. They have them here at the Hobby Town in Louisville, which a lot of the Hobby Towns are like this. So the Hobby Towns are a franchise, but they are individually owned. So they'll have kind of different flavors, but for the most part, we'll have most of these things, which is super cool. So you can probably go to any of your Hobby Towns and you'll get something similar to this. Maybe not this large of a selection, but a pretty good selection. Okay, planes. We're gonna quickly glance over the planes because we don't, oh, you know what? I have one of these. I still haven't flown it. A gentleman, Bill, I believe his name was Bill from California, gave it to me when I was down there for the TNR race. I'll put a link to that video in the eye above, but still haven't flown that thing. I'm scared to fly, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> guys, seriously, I'm like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I'm like, I'm breathing hard, running around. Uh, there's just so much to get. But again, we're gonna start with the cars because this is where I wanna be. They have a really wide selection of Traxxas cars. Here's all their TRX Forest. I still think the Bronco, the old Bronco, I mean, I think it just looks the best. I love that sunset color. The sunset color is awesome. I don't have that one. That's the, uh, that kind of, they call it the copper color, the copper color Cheyenne C10, C10, K10. Oh, you guys correct me. You know you want to, you know you will, but they have a whole bunch of TRX Forest, TRX6, Maxis, whole bunch of Traxxas stuff, which, Obviously, we live by the Traxxas store, so you guys see all the Traxxas cars all the time. Let's take a look at some of the Arma stuff here. Vortex, that's a fun truck. Sentin, I love this green Sentin. Too bad they put it on the 4x2 Boost. If it was on one of the uh, BLX versions, not gonna lie, I'd be intrigued. The Traxxas aluminum anodized accessories, I love these. They're a little pricey, but man, they fit perfect and they just look amazing. Check out those beadlocks, SSDs. I don't think I have a set of SSD beadlocks. Oh, look at this thing. I think these are called Orlando kits. I think that's what they are, but they're super small. I've known some people who built those and they say they're really, really tedious to build, hard to build because the pieces are so small. Like this, yeah, racing for to me a TTO2. Oh, cool, it's a drift conversion for the TTO2. There's the aluminum version, or the aluminum conversion for a TTO2. That's pretty sweet. 
Oh look, these Wide Max kits are on sale for $24.99. What? The red Wide Max kit is on sale for $24.99. Oh, it's probably because all the Maxes come with the come with the Wide Max kit now, so you don't even need this if you're buying a new Max. But if you have an old Max, you can pick up the Wide Max kit for only $24.99. What a steal! That's insane. RC screw kits. Here is the X Max Wide Max kit. Oh, look at these. Do I not have that? I don't think I have that light kit. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. Yeah, I don't have that light kit. We have to get one of those soon. We don't have a hobby shop with a lot of RPM stuff around me, but they got a whole bunch of RPM stuff. So the cool thing about RPM parts, they're supposed to have a lifetime warranty, I believe, but they're supposed to be unbreakable. I've broken an RPM part before, and I sent it in, and they sent me a new one. I say they're unbreakable. I mean, obviously, if you're running in the cold and you do something crazy, you could break them, but they are super durable. It's a really cheap upgrade if you just want to up the durability of your RC. And they have a lot of parts for Traxxas and Arma. Look, a little techno. Yokomo, drift car, MST. Oh my God. So many cool things here. Okay. Oh, look at that, guys. The, the Toyota Tundra. Oh man, do we need that? Dang it. Pontiac GTO, the El Camino, the Camaro Z28. More Traxxas cars. Let's see if they have the uh, the ultimate up here. I don't see it. Might be hiding the ultimates. Look, we just completely went past these. I haven't seen these before either. In the comments, guys, let me know if you want me to try one of these out. I can do a review on one of these. I've, I've never even seen them. I've never driven one. They look pretty cool. That kind of looks like a mini uh, infraction. The Avenger. Beautiful slash and sentin check out all their servos a nice range of servos here look at these guys right here no not the one we gave the 110s RC box club actually gave <laughs> eco power servers we gave two eco power servers away one month that was pretty crazy ooh that's a must have the protec LED pit light I have a whole bunch of those different radios going back up to the back wall yeah, that Tundra is too cool. We got the Promoto, the Kingsling. I don't have the Kingsling. I have the other one, the Low C Razor. Still a whole bunch of Traxxas cars. The Sentin. We've done reviews on all those. We've done. I haven't done a review on a Notorious. Hmm. Moving on. There is the Big Rock 6S. I did a review on one of these recently. Those are awesome. I'll put a link in the eye above for that one. I have not done a review on the Creighton 6S BLX. Wait, shouldn't that be the 8S? Why is that one so big? Oh, that is a 6S. They have an 8S too. Oh, y'all don't have, They make one though, right? They do, yeah. <laughs> they, they just released a new version of it. Oh, really? So he said they released a new version of it, but they haven't gotten any in recently, but all right. Never done a review on that. We need to do a review on that. I haven't done a review on that. I still haven't done a review on the Fraction either, but I have a couple, so we'll do one of those soon. <laughs> they got a whole bunch of Arma stuff. All right, as we're going through all these kits on the wall, I realize they actually have all the kits out right here also. <laughs> so we're going to go through this section next. But something caught my eye down here. Look at this. I didn't know that they had a 3S boost. I knew they had a boost box that made it four-wheel drive, but I didn't know they had the uh, brushless system for it. That's pretty freaking sick. They have metal slipper input gears. I didn't know they had any of this stuff. That's crazy. Seriously, I'm sitting here looking at RC cars. This guy, he's peeking out the uh, airsoft guns. No, we're not getting one of those. Ev, stop looking at him. All right, I just talked to Kobe and I was asking him if he had the Groms because I, that's what I was looking for, guys. You guys know I was looking for a Grom. Um, they don't have any in stock. However, they do have one that they're repairing for a customer. Check this thing out. I've Again, I've never seen this in person. I've never even seen pictures of it, but it's pretty sick. I mean, it's a completely new platform. And then look, apparently the way the body works is you push these two pieces in and it just hooks the back of the body in right there. And then you slide down the front. We'll do a full review when I get my hands on it, but I do not have one. And uh, this one's brushless. I mean, this thing looks pretty awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're not getting one today, but we will have one soon. This is an in-store purchase only, so I can't even order one online. Oh man, that thing's sick. 
Oh, Evan just asked if I had one of these things. Are you, are you serious? How many do I how many do I have as a I have three. Yeah. But yes, the XRT. Actually, I have this exact same one. And I'm actually gonna do some stuff with mine uh, soon. Yeah, I just spoiled the next video. Anyways, we got, <laughs> we got the Max. We have the Stampede BL2S, the Axial SEX 10.3, the TRX4 Sport, the beautiful Promoto, the new Raptor R. Love that. I got some stuff coming out for that also. Pretty excited about. And look at this thing Kyosho Phaser MK2. This is the GTO. So that was the thing. Like, I like that Toyota Tundra, but. We've actually already done a review on the MK2, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, one thing to note about Hobby Town is the reason why you wanna shop here is because they match online prices. So if you find any online prices from the big online retailers, uh, they will match the price, so you don't have to wait for it. And when you buy from those big retailers, you have to pay tax anyways. So basically it's like getting online prices locally instantly. I don't know if that's all the Hobby Towns. I know it's all the Hobby Towns in the DFW Metroplex, so if you're in this area and you want an RC car and you don't want to wait for it to get to your house, just just buy one. Oh look, I don't have this thing, the Capra. This is the 18 Capra. This one, this one was one of the ones that kind of bothered me when it came out because that's when I knew Axial didn't like me because they, <laughs> they didn't get me one. But look, it's got the beautiful Fox body. Actually, this is a good contender on something that maybe I should pick up. Let me know in the comments below what car you guys want me to pick up. Obviously, we can't get the Grom. It's not here. Um, the Tundra is an option. That guy's an option. We have abandoned. We have all the Traxxas cars. The Mojave. I haven't done a review on one yet. Ugh. The Fiesta ST, the Rally. I just did a review on the BL2S and the, the VXL. Actually, that's my exact VXL. Love that car. Big Rock Success. Just did a review on that. Haven't done a review on that one. This is also a contender, guys. Do you guys want me to do a review on this? The Typhon Success. I have the TLR tuned one. Don't have the RTR one. And it would be cool to see what it would be like for the people who just want to get a ready to run e-buggy. This might be an option. So looking down here, these are some of the kind of the, uh, I'll call radio shack grade, kind of the lower grade hobby. They're not really hobby grade. They're like toy grade RC cars. <laughs> but look, at, look at this thing. I thought that was Spider-Man. <laughs> Why does he look like Spider-Man? What the heck? It's like a Promoto wannabe. Oh, there was something else over here that I saw that you guys have to see. They have the mini LMTs. There you go. Mini LMTs. You know what? I should go ahead and get the parts that I broke on my mini LMT. They got some other stuff up here. Some minis. JRX2. Mini Ts. Man, they got a lot of stuff over here. It's almost so big that I don't think I can get everything. But in regards to the RC stuff, man. Great, great shop. All right, so you wanna hear one of my telltale signs on when a hobby shop is doing really well and they're a healthy hobby shop is whenever they have all the different colors of a model, like this car. I was like, yeah, I kinda of want that. I came down here, I saw it down here, and I saw they had a green one, and I was like, oh man, I hope this one's orange. It is orange, guys. So, seriously, they pretty much have all the colors of everything you need. That's a solid hobby shop. Very, very nice. All right, moving over to the tire section. Now that's weird that I'm going to the tire section, especially since I'm Pro-Line everything. I run for Pro-Line, but this caught my eye. I have always wondered about these GRP tires. These are like the high-speed tires. You guys want me to do more speed runs? I remember looking at these online, and at the time when I was looking at them, you could only order them online, but they have them in stock. Hoon's tires, always great tires. Why don't I have these? What the heck? I should totally have these. They obviously don't have the car, but here are the bodies. Look at the cool colors they have. I want the green one. But I think they only make blue and red, but either way. All right, I just talked to the manager here, and there's a mega sale on these right now. I'm not allowed to say it. It's so good, I'm not allowed to say it. If you're in the area, come check it out. But it's lower than any price advertised online. The Typhon, they are on sale. Golly, I really should pick one up now. But they're also running another special where if you pick up a Typhon, I think they do like a free battery if you buy a battery and charger but you got to come in here and hear the details because mega sales going on on these things right here all right guys i promised a gentleman named dan that works here that i would show these awesome planes that are hanging from the ceiling apparently these are built from a big collector and yeah they're here for sale and they are beautiful planes my favorite one i kind of like just this one very simple love the colors on it looks freaking good check out these models guys these are some pricey models this one's 150 bucks the boogie van 
They got some cool ones in here. Look at those. Man, this place is awesome. This is a fun store, guys. I could be in here for forever. And look, Evan hasn't left the uh, flight simulator since we got here. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Let me know if you want me to do more of these tours. Actually, whether you want me to do them or not, I'm gonna do them, because I like, <laughs> I like shopping. You'll find out what I buy soon, if I buy something, and we'll do a review on it. But yeah, this hobby town, freaking beautiful. The crazy part is, this is the third biggest one. And we're gonna check out the other ones too. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. There you go.